Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 61 of Europa Universalis 4. This is my first video back after my little Christmas break. And as a result, cannot really remember what I was doing, which is never a good start. We're not at war, which is good. Lose a thousand ducats to give them some loyalty. Well, no, I'm not doing that. I'm saving up the money. I remember that much because we were trying to get the next institution. Which is... Oh no, maybe we weren't actually. We only have a tiny little bit of it there. That's going to cost us a lot. Well, I was saving up some money for something. I don't recall what that was now. Okay, so diplomats are mainly busy. We are trying to annex... Um, are we making any progress there with these guys? We're trying to annex Fazan. They like me. Do they have liberty desire? Because that would be causing a problem if they did. No, they don't have enough liberty desire for that to really matter. We've got a vassal and we've got a march. That's right. Our truce with Oman has ended. Oman only have a single province left, which is... Or at least they did only have a single province left. Was it this one? Yeah, that's all Oman have left. We don't really need that island, and it'll be an absolute pain to get to, but we might have to do that at some point. We've still got a few conversions that we can do relatively quickly. Now the military advisor, manpower, force limit. Let's just go for the manpower one. Level. It's not very, very often that we get a rank 2 one recently, so we'll go ahead and do that. So, Ethiopia, we probably... Do we want to take Ethiopia for ourselves? We probably still have a truce with them for a while. Till 79. Yeah, that's quite lengthy. Now, what about this nation down here? This is... What is this nation? This is Mal uh, Malindi. So, do we have any sort of CB against you? No, we do not. And we can't directly fabricate ourselves either. Now, hopefully, we can get our vassals to go and um, get some claims over there. How do we do this? I can't remember. I'm sure, it's this. Diplomatic feedback. We want to claim, view our own country, and claim those of provinces of interest. There we go. So, hopefully, um, our vassal... We'll get some claims on them, and otherwise we won't we'll be able to get down and take the rest of that, so that's fine. But yeah, we'll be giving all of this to our vassal, probably. Uh, Cindy's getting sieged out good and proper by Gudra over there. Now, what about Kara? We're going to need to deal with these guys again at some point. We don't have a truce with them at the moment. Now, could we actually declare a war against them? Uh, apparently, we do have CBs against them. So, that's pretty cool. We've got enough men to deal with them. Do you have any allies of note? No, not really. You're in an alliance with Tiberistan, but we're not bothered about them. So, while we're making money, let's go ahead and... First of all, do we have any overextension? No, we don't. So, let's go ahead and just bump the army maintenance back up for this one. A little bit of inflation, but that is going down. So we'll go ahead and declare war on these guys. We'll probably try and take all of it if we can. We've, I'm sure we've got enough war score. Nobody's going to come. Tiviristan won't even come in on their side. So that's absolutely fine. So let's go ahead and declare the war. Uh, let's make sure. Yep, yeah, we have got leaders on both of those. So let's just move in. Now then, Zagoros there. I believe that is Wasteland. Yep, so there's nothing to do there. So we'll just go in and we'll recall you. Should be able to wipe this army out pretty easily. That one is a fort there. You're going to split and move half of you over there. We will take a bit of attrition, but we're not too bothered about that. Should be fairly easy to fully siege them out, I would have thought. Uh, you can split and go over there as well. The more provinces we have for troops standing in, the more difficult it'll be for them to actually uh, raise an army. You guys go down there and grab that one. So, they'll soon be fully sieged. Right, they, have, they are moving in with a larger army now. And you're engaging me there, which is kind of silly. So, your, your army was off doing something else, but you're about to get um, slaughtered. 
because you've just attacked into me. And also, um, Crimea have come down here to help out as well. Don't actually need Crimea to help out here, but they're here anyway. So let's get down here with you and go and help out with that. I think we're actually going to... Yeah, we just stack wipe them. So they no longer have an army left. Uh, you guys are done. So let's move you out of there. You guys can move back up to there. What we can do now, we don't have any armies to fight. So we might as well just go and put the army maintenance down. We don't need to put it right down. We do want to make sure we can keep reinforcing, but... We don't need to spend all of that um, money keeping the armies going. So that was a nice easy war. Then we'll be able to start fabricating claims directly on Tiberistan. And start sort of eating our way in towards India now. Looks like it's a trade league being disbanded. So you guys can all group together. We'll want to keep some men down here anyway, because obviously we'll get rebellions and stuff popping. There's only one province left to get, and in fact, um, let me just move you in there, because you do have a siege leader. No, you're not a siege leader, so you make absolutely no difference whatsoever. So there's no point going in there and suffering unnecessary attrition. Let's just march you straight back out. So what is our manpower cap? 191. We're still at the manpower cap. So we'll wait for that to finish. There we go. The siege is over. We are at 100%. So let us go and basically um, full annexation, essentially. That is 72% uh, or 72 aggressive expansion. Don't care about Amman. Kara's not going to exist. Tiberistan we don't care about. 54% overextension is fine. You have 173 ducats. Unpause the game, I suppose. Uh, we lost 8,000 men in that. They lost 11,000. But that's fine. That is another war over. And we're starting to clear up some of this border gore now. So we've got a out-of-date castle there that we might as well get rid of. Now, somebody did mention getting rid of some of the inner, um, inner castles and things to save money. It's not a terrible idea getting rid of some of these but at the same time i think you do get penalized for not having enough but yeah certainly getting rid of a few of them is uh, is worthwhile but uh, we'll keep some of them around we do get some corruptions going up we do get some what's the word i'm looking for uh, army tradition from having them so i've got enough admin points just to get all of those cored now, how are we doing on tech? We are slightly ahead of time on everything, which is great. Up to 21% penalty on the institutions. We've only got 2.4% of our development done. There's another conversion done. Let's keep going. We've lost another advisor, this time our admin advisor. Uh, let's just go for the plus two production efficiency guy. Is that another conversion done already? See, these ones now, these ones are going to take quite some time. But I think we should try and get some of them done anyway. 111. We're bound to get some rebellions. So we do need to keep our eye on this one over here. Now, we do have a three, three free diplomats. So let's go ahead and double check things with France. Improved relations could be better there. So let's go ahead and sort that out. Now, who are we allied with now? It is We are allied with France and the Netherlands. They are our only allies. Uh, again, we would still like to try and take some more stuff from Venice if we can. Do we have any claims on them? We do not have any claims. So we want to go over here and make sure we are fabricating. Try and take... Again, we want to try and take at least um, Istria and Gors so we can connect our territory together. Now, it would be nice to take a bite out of Spain as well. Now, if we declared war on Spain, France would actually not come in on their side because France don't like them. However, we would be fighting the Commonwealth, which is a bit of a pain. Uh, is that just a straight-up alliance? It is. It's a bit of an unfortunate thing. I mean, we could probably beat the Commonwealth, to be honest... I mean, how much of an army do they have? Military, uh, that's navies. Armies. Commonwealth. The Commonwealth has 
112,000 men, which is less than half of what I have. So, I could theoretically beat them. Even, I think Spain and the Commonwealth together have fewer troops than I do. But it'd be nicer if Spain would come in on my side. Now, if we were to de declare a war on Austria, again, France wouldn't come in. We've got no CB. Declaring a war on the Catholic, Catholic is glorious in the eyes of God and increase our piety. France is defender of the Catholic faith, but France won't come in. Because France doesn't like Austria and they're rivaled. But we would be fighting Muscovy. Sea Liege, Ravensburg, Warsburg, Trier, not a problem. Muscovy is slightly scary. Again, that is probably also royal marriage would be an alliance there then. Yeah, so there's a straight up alliance with Muscovy. Uh, Muscovy, you have 84,000 men. Austria has 88,000 men. So again, Austria and Muscovy, we could probably um, beat up pretty hard. But it would be nice if we could actually do it with France on our side. Now, as we're making quite a bit of money now, actually making a huge amount of money, we should probably build up to our force limit. We can quite easily get another 30 stacks, so let's go ahead and work on that. And make sure we've got enough enough men. But yeah, I'm kind of tempted to just march in on Austria. I do want some of the aggressive expansion to go away first. So it's kind of half done. And happen under the following conditions. Yeah, we haven't had that happen for a while, but we think we're good. So yeah, we want to start... Um, do we, we don't have any CBs here, do we? No, so we want to go ahead and start um, building a spy network on Austria now. Gain 5 prestige or lose 25 admin power and gain a new console. I'll just take the prestige. Thank you very much. So, we can't actually threaten war. They hold no unoccupied provinces that are cause or claims of ours that we can make claws. So, yeah, we need to actually get a claim before we can do anything there anyway. And we need 20 spy network. And our spy network is currently... Is it going to show here? Yeah, 3.51. So that'll take a little while. So we're building our army up. Uh, we're still not quite at the force limit. But we could only get like another sort of a, a half stack. So what would be the point? So yeah, I think we're going to be going for uh, Austria possibly next. Lose some ducats for piety or lose some piety and prestige. Do you know what? We'll gain the piety. We are doing some conversions, so that'll work out. As we've got a fair bit of money, and it's going to be a little while before we can get that institution, uh, we might want to actually go ahead and get some of the better tax buildings where we can. We're not going to get a huge amount of tax money by building these buildings around. That's a relatively good one there. Obviously, some of these buildings are completely lacking any of the uh, the tax buildings at all. 0.34. We want, definitely want that one. There's a 0.15, but that's not great. Most of this is low development, so it's not worth a lot. However, 0.24. What else have we got down here? See, muskets even hardly worth anything. Again, I don't want to spend all of my money, so I'm not intending to go crazy here but if there's anything that would severely benefit from having the buildings then they're worth getting i think that's about it so we can actually get better forts now as well because some of our forts are quite outdated so you need one the capital definitely needs one we are spending through a lot of our money doing this if we're going to be going to war against austria we definitely want those three uh, upgraded. So there's all of our money gone. There's some integrations done. Uh, we can get the next military tech. Well, we certainly should do. Gives us better cannons, better combat width, more artillery shock and artillery fire. So it makes our artillery much better now. So let's go ahead and change the units. Was it the better, better cannon? Yeah.
The knights are still being a pain. Now, could we take the knights out, actually? I know that they're constantly a pain in the hoop. But who are you protected by, if anybody? Why can't I right-click on your province? It's quite annoying. So you're allied with Sweden, Genoa, and Venice. But again, France would come in and help you. Yeah. As I thought. Lose some trade efficiency. We'll lose the dip. Right, 25 diplo power for one mercantilism. Yeah, sure. That's like a really good deal. So let's get some of these armies marching up here. Again, more provinces are now cored. We are definitely going to have, have to have most of our forces up here if we want to have any chance of being able to take stuff from Austria. Make sure we've got all of our generals up here as well. Because we do have quite a lot of armies down here. So we'll move them all up to the north. Get them all on the border. Uh, oh, this is no good. So our ruler is Craven. When ruling Ottomans, it'll give minus 5% morale of armies. Well, that's not good. Uh, let's have a quick look here. Yeah, so you're Craven. We have no air either. And you're only 25, so you're probably going to be around for a while. So that's not a good thing. Military tech-wise, let's have a quick look at that. We are on 22. Austria is also on 22. Uh, Muscovy, we said, would come in as well. Muscovy are quite far away. I mean, they're a massive country, but it's low development. They're on 21. By the time they get any men down here, we could have probably already half destroyed Austria anyway. Let's go ahead. We obviously want to wait until we've got the uh, the forts upgraded anyway. Lose some corruption. Everyone's opinion of me changes. Well, that's um, interesting. Again, we've got another stack down here. We can bring you up towards the front lines. And we've got the stack that's in Venice as well. I do want to keep this stack around here for rebel stomping. Although we'll move the general up there. Give it to the Alima. And I'll probably move one of these stacks up. I mean, it's quite possible that Muscovy might try and march in down here. So I might actually leave both of these stacks just to try and deal with Muscovy if they move into Crimea, which they probably will. So we've got sort of a little bit of a plan let's make sure we go and get the rest of these uh, star forts where they're needed so Aleppo's already having something built there how many more forts and things do we have because I know we've got some that are outdated it's annoying that you can't always um, see them Uh, so this one, you're being upgraded, aren't you? Yep. Yeah. Right, so I'll just do it from this screen. It makes it slightly easier. So we've got those three across the top. We've got the one in the capital. There's that textiles manufactory done. So you need an upgrade. You need an upgrade. Baghdad, you can get an upgrade as well. Another conversion. These are a little bit quicker now. We've got more piety. Build a weapons manufactory. Incorporate Ajaran. I could do. What are the rewards for these? Yearly prestige and manpower recovery speed. Diplomatic reputation. Now Moldova belongs to the Commonwealth. It's here. So that one's a little bit tricky. Now if we were to just declare war on the Commonwealth. Netherlands would help. Spain would help. The Papal State would... Papal State would come in on your side. That's unfortunate. And Bohemia. I mean, we could probably beat up Spain. But no, I think Austria is my target at the moment. Just want to take a huge chunk out of Austria. So have we got rid of all of that overextension? Yes, we have. Okay, brilliant. That's a good start. We've still got some rebellions that might pop, so I kind of want to wait for those. Build weapons manufactory in Skopje. Fair enough. 
I was typing, honest. Uh, gain ducats, gain some corruption, lose some piety. We don't want all the local unrest anywhere. Um, so you need a, what was it, a weapons manufactory. Okay, let's do that. We're spending through, of our, through our money pretty quickly. Although we are still making 40 ducats a month, which is good. And um, we're still waiting a little bit for this spread. Going to cost us a fair bit of money anyway, like 5,000 ducats. So we might just wait for a bit of natural spread to come from that one. So these forts are not quite finished, but they are getting there. So we will want to turn those on. We'll probably want to... I don't know if we'll want the ships available for this battle, actually. So you're allied with a lot of people. None of them that I'm particularly concerned about. How are things going with Venice? So it, is, it would be quite a big fight. If France would come in on our side, it would be excellent. Can we get a claim on... Venice. It's not letting me click on the provinces for some reason. Fabricated claims. Still need 20. We're only on 11. It's taking a long time to actually get any uh, any spying done on, on them. So we'll do our best. It'll take a little while. 22% now through the integration of Fazan. And uh, oh, middle mass button to drag scroll. I don't suppose you guys have gone and got a CB down here yet, have you? Oh, you have. Fantastic. And Kilbo would come in and help them. Would well, you know what? I've got a, a nice little stack down here that can come and help out with this fight. So we'll march down there and that'll be the fight that we do next while we're getting ready to um, gear up and fight Austria. But we've got over the 20 minute mark, so I'm going to pause the game there. And when we come back next time, we'll start that little war off just while we're getting in position to deal with Austria. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying EU4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.